So, let's go to our camera class. And we'll set our look at for now. Usually it should be public, and that's where I guess you want a camera to follow the player and just put in passing the position of the player in there. But for here, I'm just gonna show you. And for now, I'm just setting it to zero. Set the camera position. Oh, it's cam pause, isn't it? To equals a vector of vector three oh zero zero and twenty five to be a little bit offset from the center. Um set the M view mat. If you had this function in there or however you set the identity of it. And projection matrix and set the set the center identity of that one too. I think call it project mat, right? Yeah. Okay. Um set the M axis to equals to a zeros vector three zero. And we'll set the M rotation angle for now to equals zero. Okay, now we can go into our projection matrix, our get projection matrix function, and that's gonna return a matrix of four by four. See, mate, that's camera actually. Camera, get projection matrix. It's near and four. Okay. Okay, in here we're gonna declare a float and call it the FY scale, and that will equal to the one divided by ten gent of the FOB. Divided by 2.0f. If you know your stuff, then you know what I'm doing here. If you know your camera stuff, that would be the field of view of the y direction. And create another one for field of view of the x direction. And that would be the field of view of y or the y scale divided by the aspect ratio. And then we can mem set our our projection matrix. And basically, what I'm doing here is basically setting the whole matrix to zeros. And that's what mem set is doing. If you don't know what mem set is, then just look it up in Google. But the main reason I'm using this then is to setting every matrix values to zero for now. You could easily set it differently. You probably could have a function in your matrix class and set it to zero. And you just call that function. But I'm just going to call memset. Oh, this again. Forget you. Alright. Anyways, we're going to set our projector matrix here. Project mat. And we're going to set our zero, zero to be the F field of view X scale. The M projection matrix, large mat, set that, and that will be the 1 and 1, and that will be the F white scale, the field of view and the white scale. M projection, large mat, dot set, and that will be our 2, 2, in our projector matrix and set that to the the far divided by our near minus far 
I think I forgot another parentheses. We're gonna set our next projection. Oh, two and three to be the near times the far divided by the near minus far and we can say our, the, the next one, the, our last one that will be the 3 and 2 and you set that to negative 1 and basically that's our our get projection matrix and that's everything here is going to set our projection matrix alright if you don't understand anything here I, let me know and I can clarify a little bit better but pretty sure it's uh, pretty explanatory alright now we're gonna get our 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 view mat. We still get our view matrix, and this is gonna be a little bit bigger than the projection matrix. Okay, and this is we're basically I'm telling you you need to know your matrix math a little bit. I'll, I'll try to explain it. I mean, I suck at explaining sometimes. I'm serious, but I'll try my best right now. So, uh, you can have a uh, column of matrix which will be translating our camera. Jesus. It will translate our camera. Alright, and then we can have our rotation. That will rotate our cam, which will rotate it. For our, the first time, we can call this. We can have our we can call it C vector three class, and this gonna be our B on the Z, and that will be the M look at our M look at minus the camera position. This can't pause. I don't remember that. And then, then after you do that, you 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 will have to normalize it. And declare another vector three, and that will be our view on the x axis, and that will be the cross product of so vector three, or the cross product of all the view on the z direction and the up vector and our up vector and then like always you have to normalize it and then we can get our view from our our y direction view y and that basically is gonna be the cross product of of the other two vector three that and that'll be the cross product of the B on the X and the B on the Z and you will have to normalize it of course And we have to set our rotate or its rotation. And we can set the identity of it right here. And in here, we, let me just copy so I'm not to write it all the time. We're gonna be setting our zero zero of the our matrix or the, in the rotation. To be the view x direction dot get x that will be the view x dot x or the or the matrix I mean of the of the vector 
and so right here basically we can be setting our matrix or rotation to equal the vector threes that we declare up here so we can input that vector threes where we declare into the matrix so that's what we're going to be doing in here so we're going to set the zero one to be the view x dot get y zero two to be the view x dot get z We can accept our our one zero to be the view y dot get x one one to be the view y dot get dot get y did I forget something in here? Oh, there we go. Dot set zero one two to be the view y dot get z, and we could do the same thing for our other one. Set two zero to be the view z dot get x. R21 to be the BZ dot get Y R2 and 2 to be the view Z dot get Z Okay and then we can have the translate the translate to to build a translation of our negative which this will um, make translate the camera back to the origin our cam pause from the position that it was initially set to and we can not get get X and it will have to be the negative on all of them. And the same thing for Z one. Get Z. And then we'll we'll we will multiply it. See matrix. We're gonna multiply the matrices. So the matrix multiply. And that will be the view matrix. View mat. And be the rotation. And our translation and basically what that's basically doing I'll show you right now real quick so basically what this is doing I'm gonna write it out right now and it's basically the MBU mat is basically equal to the rotation times translation so basically you will have to set you will have to move the camera back to the origin and then rotate it. Okay, and in OpenGL is basically backwards, so what you have to do is whatever you're gonna be doing and then translate to origin at the end. So it's basically backwards. And that's what's basically this is doing in here, the same exact thing. And then you can return the MV mat. And that's our our get view mat.